Dina tough legend. Half, tough half. It hurts. So your stomach. I, when you're a little bit worse than the guy, it's kind of cool because you have a chip on your shoulder, so you're like, I could, I could do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But when the gaps like, when the when the gaps huge, the struggle's real. Yeah. So we got my man, young prof, Professor Pro versus All the way from uh, the UK. From UK. Let's go. UK stand up. Um. Versus, uh, is that Sni Sni Sniker? Snacker? 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 Almost said sneaker. It's kind of a. We we can actually see like every camera on our monitor, but the downside is some of the stuff's. The names, yeah, dude. But I think he took the first stock with the win tag, yeah. Managed to, uh, he clipped Prof with a really cheeky dare that shoved him beneath the ledge. And then, now this is even crazier. He got the ledge invincibility, shined him through the up B. Prof managed to tech under Battlefield oh. and almost got. Oh my God. A, uh, is he, wait, he's, he's, he's doing it. He's going in. Snacker. Yeah. He's like, yo, I'm out here, bro. He's giving him the snack bite. Respect it. Well, that cobra sting. Right? <laughs> wait, do cobra? No, cobra's bite. They bite. OK. Yeah, pretty pretty bad, too. <laughs> Scorpion sting. Yeah, Scorpion sting. Shouts to Scorpion Door. Scorpion Door. Yeah, but um, yeah, Fox did those, man, the quintessential uh, fast man melee. Yeah. You know, it's uh, I don't know what to call it. It's uh. The, uh, it's a gunslinger duel. Yeah, That's you what know. It is. It's pistols at dawn. Yeah. Just, you know. Guns drawn. A lot of kicks. A lot of uh, kung fu. Uh, dude, it's, it's a little bit of everything. It's, dude. it's everything, dude. He's got, he's got, he's got, you know, space karate. He's got a gun. He's got <laughs> blue magic. Right. He sets himself on fire. Right. He's a versatile man. Yeah. And it's, dude, Fox Ditto's Sounds like are, a legend to me. <laughs> man, Fox Ditto's are, are also, there's a lot of pride in a Fox Ditto. Yeah, I mean, man. You're not allowed to say, oh, I, I, I'm I not good at the Ditto. Oh, yeah, that's Show, the dude, yeah. Wait. Yo, my man Snecker. He's like, yo, respect my gangster prof. And he, he's just melting the ledge. Ooh, it's a... Uh, Fox Dittos are the one ditto that's kind of almost just like it's not really a ditto. It's like it's just, you know. I mean, especially because Foxes can play so different. Right. Your punish game structure can be way different than the other guy. There's, And since you often have to spend so much time grinding out whatever it is you're good at, it's really hard to just copy the other Fox. Like, oh, I don't know how to win this ditto. I'll just do what you do. Right. No, <laughs> you won't. You, you down tilt the other guy down tilts. It, it, like, this matchup, too, I think the room for creativity and openings are like, Way easier. Like most dittos, it's like the punish is so brutal. Like most characters punish their character really, really hard. Like yeah. Mark dittos, Sheik dittos, even Falco dittos is like the Pe punish game is just crazy. Peaches are Ooh. always holding down even against themselves. Yep. European man. And they should know the most. <laughs> and they should know better than anyone. Puffs yeah. start resting each other. Now, will Prop good player him or can Snecker somehow? Uh oh, that was a desperate up smash. Uh oh, oh, he teched to the ledge. He's cornered. Prop's making good and work. Of this. Oh, that DI out was actually really good because it let him uh, get a much trickier up B angle. Oh. Oh, clutch. Dude. And for a second, I thought Snecker forgot how to play the game. I mean, He's like, I'm about to win? When you're getting hit, dude, <laughs> just, just surviving, like, sometimes becomes the hardest that you just. You panic. Just don't kill me. Don't kill me. Right. I was up by two stocks. Don't lose. Don't lose. Don't lose. You lose. Yeah. But that one right there, he kept his head, recognizing uh, Prof's trajectory going onto the platform. So right. you know that that feeling where you're like, am I going to get the tech chase, like the hard tech chase, or do I have to? Do I land? Do I swing? Is he going to roll? And Snecker made the right choice. He just landed. Yeah, he double jumped and waited for the tech. And yeah. And he was like, got him. And I don't know if that was a read, but it looked like he reacted. Honestly. Yeah. Plus, uh, since Prof rolled left, but he was already there, essentially that just makes it a really long get up in place. Right. So even if he thought, oh, he's going to get up in place, then he's there just looking at him. He goes, oh, I'll just wait a moment. <laughs> Flick that stick. 1 0. <laughs> yeah, dude, now Snacker playing nice. Yeah, man. Do you know where he's from? Because uh, I'm just curious. USA. USA. Yeah. US of A. Let's go. But um, yeah, I'm shocked he doesn't have like a group of boys. You, usually the underdog always has like the home. It's either two ways. You got the whole squad cheering, or ooh, let's go. Or you have just like no one watching, and then you, like the fattest upset happens in the corner. You yeah, know? and then you, and then you walk over. It's like, hey man, how'd your set with Prof go? Uh, two one. Oh, you got one. He's, he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I beat him. You're like, wait, what? Uh, Prof's got something to say but about yeah, it. Yeah, Prof's like, yo, guys, 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 I'm Slow still down. here, man. Slow down. Yeah, <laughs> respect my presence. 
Stadium, I agree. You know, a Fox Classic, you yeah. know? Actually, but. I love the counter pick uh, strats in dittos yeah. because it just tells you, it doesn't tell you about the matchup, it tells you about the person. Oh, yeah. That's kind of nice. That actually is true. Because it's just basically what you prefer, what you value in melee and in stages. Now, I don't know if this is Prof's thought process, but this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I lost my first stock to a shine, if I kind of, if I might have gotten like, you know, space crunched, uh -huh. and then just made one mistake, fall behind and couldn't recover, I would say, give me more space. Mm -hmm. I would say, hey, Pokemon, you know, I didn't, I died off the top to an up smash at 120. That could happen anywhere. I'm not oh, worried about the Do you see that? The drift, Do you the air see dodge. that? Drift to the platform cancel? Ooh, the call out on the high recovery. Oh, wow. Snacker. Oh, I thought he was going to hard read that. Me too. I think. Yeah. But he, so far, what I've seen from him that's uh, impressed me the most is when a situation changes, he changes. Right, he doesn't right, go right. go through with a bad idea just because he wants to. Right. And so he might have been he might have wanted it. He like facing back. It seemed like he wanted to. I think he realized he was a bit late. Okay. Ooh, he went for a hard read. It was actually looking like just game one flipped. Yeah, pretty much. A prop plan, prop plan a lot cleaner. I think even even the last stock of game one, he was pretty much bringing it back. He just it was like too late kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, he, he's definitely showing us why he's like seated higher for sure. Yep. And actually, something he's uh, been doing a lot with his movement is he's he's just kind of staggering it. You know, a lot of foxes will never stop moving. Yeah. And sometimes when you stop, the other guy goes, "Wait, so do I attack you? Crash into an up tilt? Oh, I see." I think um, Snagger has to realize too that. Prof up B's down every single time. I don't think my man has done an up B high at all. He hasn't yeah. had to. Yeah. Which is, because uh, Snickers not calling it out. Yeah, yeah. Snickers, Snickers is calling it out. Yeah. Right. Crowd cheering. I don't yeah, know. solid yeah. answer by yeah. Prof. Yeah, he's just like, yo, respect me. Yeah. We're going to game three. <laughs> don't get game one confused, guys. It happens, you know? Yeah, dude. Even LeBron has bad games. We're not saying it didn't happen, but it's a best of three for a reason. True. So let's see. Okay. Ooh, Yoshi's. You know, I think I like my theory. Prof wanted room because he knew yeah. getting crunched is what caused that uh, first shine that lost him game one kind of. Yeah. Ooh. And Snecker's kind of saying the same thing. Hey, if you do better with space, take your space away. Yeah, man. He's take doing, your space away. He's doing a lot better with uh, – oh, any taunts? You can't flex when you're the underdog, my guy. Actually, I think that's the best time <laughs> yeah. to flex. You I think don't know. so? I mean, yo, my man's out here. Got game one. Stock one was clean. Yo, dude. he's bagging it up, so I can't really knock it. Yeah, he's almost got a percent. <laughs> like lead. a whole Plus stock. He's about. Yeah, you can't. Ooh, not with yeah, the guy when, like that. When you're about to lap, my man. Ooh, that was a clean wave land. But I like uh, Prof's call out on it. Got yeah. that nair right at the edge of the platform. That says I know. I can read. <laughs> I am literate. We've got good Ooh. education in the UK. Ooh. Oh, dude, I think, Pro, I think Prof should keep going low, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, that was like the one time he didn't go low. Okay, okay. Ooh, yep. Ooh. Red oh, get up wow. Got a C. Yeah. And Ooh. oh no, up smash! I thought you reverse up smash that. Oh no, and Prof. Snecker's definitely been a fan of the straight up beast to the edge. Those when you're yeah. low. Those are virtually impossible to hit if you don't have ledge invincibility. Oh, smash, yeah. All right. Stock even. Oh, there goes his boys. <laughs> now, now the percents, percent lead's not big, but it does prevent CC on a lot of the lighter hits. It's going to uh -huh. force knockdown, so that's kind of nice if you're Snecker. But I think that, yeah, that advantage is, is gone. And, oh. Okay. Crisp Oof. counter shine. Yeah. We got ourselves a game. Ooh, he caught that. Yeah, he was waiting for that. Okay, illusion, yeah. Man, that was a oh, that was oh, a, such an interesting extension from Prof. Like realized he wasn't gonna get anything, and he actually just traded hits. Wow. And Snucker's counter hit. ODI. Oh, but a bear. What's it it's coming? Be? Oh no, bear. And Prof on the on the on the board. Yep. Let's go. It's one one. We are almost at a last stock situation. Yeah, man. I'm liking it. But I always think Fox at this percent is godlike. Until no Snacker proved me wrong. Maybe not in the ditto, but versus Falco and Marth. <laughs> All right. Last stock situation. Ooh, no, you don't want to be in the corner right there. Ooh. You should just get yourself on solid ground. 
Get your legs back, dude. Oh, man, my man is held down. It's ever since the last stock hit, my man got nervous. Luckily, the cloud saved my man from yeah. getting 2-1. Got that bounce, got a little extra height, got a double jump back. Cruise to the platform, really good up B. Is he going to hang with him? And Prof has just been in control. Oh, it's the back air wall. Smart up air, ooh. Smart move. He keeps managing to get his feet back, so he's not like constantly getting juggled, but his death by inches. He's going to make it? Ooh. Oh! A snicker. Or snicker. I don't know. That was a, that was a good set, man. Uh, my man definitely froze the last stock for sure. But, uh. Prof. Yeah. Good player to.